There's Rosie and her little baby. And I am in the process of turning this blanket into a sleep sack. Parents and grandparents and friends love to give babies blankets, but babies don't sleep in blankets anymore. So I'm brainstorming how to turn a basic flat blanket, this one's a quilt, into a sleep sack. I've got a zipper, it's a 20 inch zipper, separating zipper, and the, uh, I've still sewed it along one edge here, and I'll, the ultimate, I think this will paint a picture of the starting point, and then the, uh, I'll revisit with the, the end product, or partial product, or whatever. All right, part way along, so the zipper, uh, and then we fold it to make the edges, the short edges of the blanket, the center line of the thing. This zipper separates at the top. That's going to be right under Charlie's chin. And then I'm going to cut, so or a, uh, a head hole, and then cut this off on some sort of angle and have her arm holes stick out like that. And then build some sort of flap to cover this up, perhaps, ultimately. Here's Charlie and the partially finished, partially done. It's not even close to finished. I screwed up some things already, but uh, notably, I've got one half sewn up. So with a little armhole, I'll show you the big picture layout. I have to sew up this other side and cut it off, make the armhole. But it seems like it's going to work overall. It won't be pretty, but it'll be functional and a repurposing. There's a blanket turned into a sleep sack. There's many steps I glossed over. Uh, but if you know anything about sewing, you probably know more about sewing than I do and can figure out the other steps that I didn't do, or that I didn't show. But she seems to mostly tolerate it. It looks just like a commercially made sleep sack, really, in major form. And the last step was this little piece of fleece I sewed on to cover the zipper. It's just a flap sewn along one edge. It goes around the outside and the inside. And that zipper doesn't even touch her. And, well, the main part of the zipper is down here. The, the starter part of the zipper doesn't even touch her there. Yeah. All right, some closing, closing thoughts on the sleep sack. It started out as a blanket that was 25 by 40 inches or a quilt a very and light, very lightly quilted quilt it'll end up being similar to like a commercially available four four season sleep sack in terms of insulation not not super thin not super thick all around insulation i bet uh this part at the top and i have, I have little charlie herself in my arms so I can't show it too much, but I can show it my foot. This part at the top is hard to figure out. It's actually just one layer of fleece sewn along the edge of the zipper from along one side. And then the zipper itself could have been sewn on the inside to look cooler, but I like that it ended up on the outside because then the inside that touches Charlie is, is smoother uh, without the edge of the the zipper fabric in the way.